Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Lovett, AKA B Love. Let me take a wild guess why you're here. You've got a pair of these Apple AirPod Pros. You've paired them with your Windows 10 computer and you're wondering why they sound so awful. Let's get into it. So you've gone through the steps of connecting your AirPods Pros to your Windows 10 PC. You've set up everything and now you've started using it as maybe a headset or just a set of headphones and you're wondering why it sounds so terrible. It sounds like you're talking through a tin can in the 1800s to communicate with people instead of a high-end several hundred dollar pair of headphones. Well, this has everything to do with a couple of Windows settings that I'm gonna show you how to adjust now and also some hardware that we'll talk about after that. What I'm gonna do now is show you why these have poor quality in the first place and what we can do to address some of that. So go ahead and flip your AirPods open and they should automatically connect via Bluetooth. Now, if you click on the bottom right hand corner, the sound icon, and you click on the up arrow, you're gonna notice that there's headset and headphones listed for the AirPods. Now, the way Bluetooth works on Windows is kind of odd. It actually sets up two separate devices for your Bluetooth headset and one for just the headphones. You're gonna have higher quality audio if you use just the headphones, and I'll show you why. So with headset selected, what we're gonna do is again, click on the icon, but we're gonna right click this time, and now we're gonna to go to open sound settings. Now when you go to device properties, and then additional device properties, it'll pop open this new window, which is way over here on this giant monitor, and you'll notice that this is why it sounds like garbage. It is one channel, 16-bit, 8 kilohertz telephone quality. Telephone quality. This is why it sounds bad. So when you have this in headset mode where it can use the microphone and the audio simultaneously, that's why it sounds bad. So let's take a look at the other option, which is the headset. So again, we'll left click. Now we'll select headphones from the dropdown. We will right click open sound settings. Now we're open for this, the headphones. Click device properties, additional device properties once again, and we will come over here, check out advanced. It is now stereo, so two channel, 16-bit, 44,100 hertz, which is now CD quality. And that's why these will sound much better if you put it in this mode. Now, how do we prevent these headphones from going into headset mode when you connect it and always staying in headphone mode? I can help you with that too. So what you do for that is you go into your Windows control panel. So just go to control panel. You're gonna see the hardware and sound icon over here, and you're gonna to go to view devices and printers. Once you click on that, you're gonna have your AirPods Pro come up in the list of devices. You're gonna to connect to that, just click it a couple times. And then in the services tab, you're gonna see this hands-free telephony and go ahead and deselect that service. So click it off click apply, and now what ends up happening is it disables the ability for this to be used as a headset, so now you're gonna get that high quality stereo 44,100 hertz CD quality audio all of the time. So as you can see, there are a couple of issues. One is that there simply isn't enough Bluetooth bandwidth to have high quality audio through the ears and also through the microphone simultaneously. Now there are some hardware solutions to this, Jabra, for example, makes the Jabra Link 370 and 380. The 370 gives you pretty high quality audio through your AirPod Pros. That should work for most people. Unfortunately, it's a fairly expensive adapter at $75. The Jabra Bluetooth Link 380s, which just came out a couple months ago, are Bluetooth 5.0, so they have higher compression, higher bandwidth than even the 370, so that gives you even higher quality, less latency, less lag, less visual lag if you're doing things like gaming, using Discord, or video conferencing. In the near future, a lot more devices will be out on the market that support APTX, which is another Bluetooth standard that allows up to 32 kilohertz audio, which is much higher than CD quality. So that should alleviate most of these problems and also reduce lag, latency, and all those other issues. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Brian, why would I spend several hundred dollars on AirPods as well as another hundred plus dollars on a Bluetooth adapter that lowers latency and makes the sound quality acceptable? Well, it's a good question. If you're doing video conferencing and gaming, that sort of thing, I might actually suggest a wired set of headphones like these Sennheisers. I use these for my video conferencing for work and almost every meeting that I'm in when I first got these, everybody asks me what headset I'm using because 
the sound quality is so good on the other end of the beam. And the nice thing about these specifically is that this automatically mutes. So when you're talking like this, if you flip the headset up, it automatically mutes. And for someone who works at home with small kids, that is invaluable because sometimes I need to flip this up, mute it, and yell at them while I'm on a very important business call. So not that I ever yell at my kids, but if I did, this would be a fantastic way of doing it without having to take the time to mute my audio manually. So it's another option for people if you don't need AirPod Pros, but you do need a good headset for audio and video conferencing, this is probably a better solution for most people. Till next time, guys, thank you so much. We'll talk soon.